Hello Vivian and welcome back to the third channel. Today we're doing a brand new series called Follow Other TV Themes. In the future that title could change. So at the moment in time it's Follow Other TV Themes but that could change in the future. Depends on whether or not I come up with a better title. Now our first theme tune we're going to <clears throat> review is the ITV um, children's program which was created by Thames Television. Um, the theme tune were at the time uh, sung by Peter Davidson who went on appearing All Creatures Great and Small for the BBC and played the fifth Doctor in Doctor Who. Um, I do apologise, I can't remember the second name, but Button Moon for anyone that is unassociated with the programme. Button Moon is currently available, all, all series are currently available in the UK on DVD and uh, on ITVX. Premium it's with Britbox, but so it's on ITV X. Um, but it's you pay for Britbox basically, it's a premium service only in the UK. And Button Moon is about Miss Mr. Spoon, uh, Mrs. Spoon, and Tina Teaspoon, where they get onto antics while flying in the Heinz Beans uh, rocket ship to a button that's the moon, there's a planet where antics happen. Now we are still recording, so. Without further ado, in the top corner, or wherever around me, will be the theme tune that plays. Due to copyright, it'll, it'll be quite small, but it'll be inside of a PNG of a TV. So each theme tune we talk about in this series will have a TV uh, based on that era when the show came out, or as close to the size of it, if you catch my drift. So, please, without further ado, enjoy the theme tune to Button Moon, I'll still be here. I'll just I'll just be silently dancing or miming or miming along to the music. So without further ado, here is the theme tune now. <laughs> That was the Button Moon theme tune. How incredible was that? Now, you're probably wondering, Tom, 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 when you review Idents, it's all about the visuals, and you look at the visuals, and you edit the visuals, and you visuals, visuals. When you watch, when you look at the advert, it's the music, it's the visual, it's the visuals. Well, how are you going to review a TV theme tune? It's all about the music. It's all about the music, this one, mate. So, let's go. So, we have... Obviously, I will show you what we've got. So here we have uh, trusty uh, button moon, and it's a button. It's also a moon, but the music. We're off to button moon. Come follow Mrs. Spoon. Button moon. Button moon works really. This is a pilot, so if this doesn't go well this year, then we won't be doing it anymore. I just want to just clarify. So he goes, we're off to put a moon, oh, follow Mr. Spoon, put a moon, put a moon, put a moon. And, the, uh, and that is what you want in a theme. Do you want something that's catchy, something that you can sing along to, and something that you go, da 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 Because with um, theme tunes in general, they're the hook that reminds you of the program. So if I say EastEnders, you think of do 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 or do 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 Or if I say if I'm telling you to remember a name of a radio program and I say the Archers, you'll go do 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 So when I say Butter Moon, even though you might not remember the lyrics, you'll remember the tune. Do 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 and that's what works really well in this. But that is the scenario of remembering it's repetitive. We're off to button moon. Button moon. Button moon. So we're off. We're off to button moon. Oh, follow Mrs. Spoon. Button moon. Button moon. Button moon. That's four button moons in the lyrics. And that works really well because it's like, oh, yes, I remember this now. Go, 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 go. So would you remember the Thames Television Ident or the 
or the week, London Weekend Television Island, or the BBC Island, or the C- Series C Island. Do you remember all of them, or, or you remember the Richard Osmond um, shows, and you remember all these other elements, sorry about that, I don't, you remember all the other elements of adverts, like you remember the Barry Scott adverts, you, you, remember, you remember the Silly Bang and all the and Flash, because of all this, but you remember them because of all these things, and Button Moon, because it's got four uses of the word moon, button moon, button moon, it means that it becomes repetitive and rememberative. Years later you remember it, because it came out in the 80s, you still remember button moon, and Ian Allen, who's still who's still around today, does remember button moon, because he created it, obviously, or remember it, but it, he made sure that the theme tune had something going for it, and Peter Davison still remembers the theme tune, I've heard, he still remembers the theme tune. And it's repetitive, and it gets in your head, and that's what's good about it. It needs to be in your head and remembrative, so you never forget the theme tune. So, there we have it. That is the pilot episode for For the Love of uh, TV Themes. If you like this video, suggest those TV theme tunes in in wherever you're watching this, whatever comes up when you're watching this. If you have any ideas of how I could improve it, um, the more in-depth in review, let me know in the comments section down below. Bye-bye! Hello, this is Bonus Tom here. You've just enjoyed the final episode of TV Themes. Um, I've had a look through it and I've really I missed off some key details. So we're back for bonus efforts to give you more key details. Button Moon is a fondly remembered programme because of how... Blue peter aside, it was. What I mean by that is that Blue Peter had these makes where you can use any household object. And Button Moon, even though the puppeteering of where they put the rod in the arms and where they put the bits to move the puppets were all engineered that no one else could do unless you asked Ian Allen himself what to do. It was also engineered so that you could make your own rocket because you know that they've used the hind beans tin and all this looks really um, doable to recreate home. And I think the theme tune, even though it's reminiscent of the time, I think it helps to go do 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 do, and then you you appreciate that the melody is there, and you don't think Peter Davison, the Fifth Doctor from Creature All Creatures Great and Small, Campion, you don't think of him as a singer, do you? And people surprise you, and he surprises you in this, and that's what really works really well because it's the surprise element. It's the ah, oh, ooh, ah. You don't expect it to be that good, and then you watch it, and then you realise it's Peter Davison, and you're going, "This is incredible!" And then you want to investigate more. And so when you listen to the theme tune, having the repetitive element works really well. I think that's the thing that saves it. If it didn't have the repetitive element, it would just be like um. 80 days around the world to find a boat of gold. Willy Frog say to him, throw the world, but like that, and you remember some of it. See, I would, you'll remember some of it. And I think what helps theme tunes last now is the a band created by Phil Fletcher, who plays Hackety Dog on Series C called the Pound Shop Boys. And one day they'll do a Button Moon um, cover, but they do uh, pet, pet Shop Boy style music for theme tunes, and that's another way of restoring uh, people's memories of these things, and it works really well. And so, this is the official ending. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other suggestions, let me know in the comments section down below. Bye-bye! Hello, um, Editing Tom here. Um, I've just been looking back at all the footage. It's an incredible video, but I want to say that I love Button Moon. The theme tune, no matter what quality we're left with it in the end, is always incredible. The My favourite segment, this is one I keep, forgot to mention in my review, my favourite segment of the um, theme tune is the do 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 do. And then my second favourite is Button Moon, Button Moon. Because it's a, it's a good transition into the programme itself. And you get built up with what's going to happen and how is it going to happen and you get dragged into all the excitement and you feel engaged oh, 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 oh. I can't wait for this episode of Bottom Moon I'm so excited and so there we have it
ったら。